Baba Jidesaul, who is set to train the competence of local artisans and craftsmen in Lagos State. Well, this is in a bid to reduce incidences of building collapse, cost of property development, and enhance quality in housing development. The governor disclosed this on Tuesday during the commissioning of 774 housing units of Lagos homes at Sangot Tedo, Phase 1 in Etiosa, local government area of Lagos State. Plus TV Africa, Lagos State. Government House Correspondent Love Ikuku Oyedeku once again gives us more details in this report. Shongo Tedo Phase 1 consists of 744 homes in 62 blocks of 12 homes each. There are 248 one bed, 248 two bedrooms, and 248 three bedrooms apartments in the scheme. As the commissioning, Governor Sawulu said that the government had to continue to build decent homes in livable communities for people. This is so that they can be psychologically and socially stable enough to contribute their quota to the development of the state. This is one location that people will live in peace and people will also have full recreational facility because the ambience speaks for itself, is well laid out and they've rolled out all of the other amenities that have been provided in this community. As you know, shelter continues to remain a basic need for human survival after food. Governor Sawonlu has a plan to bridge what he termed as the skill gap in the sector. About 1,000 artisans have been earmarked for the training package tagged Mastercraft program. And so working with the Ministry of Wealth Creation, working with the Ministry of Housing, and working with the Ministry of Poverty Alleviation, we are designing a scheme where we can continue to train and retrain on skill labors. We do not want our jobs to be taken away by other nationals. Let our own children, let our own boys and girls, let our own youth be the ones that will have the full benefit of government interventions like this. The State Commissioner for Housing, Moruf Akinde Rufotai, is confident that the Lagos homes will impact greatly on the housing deficit in the state. He enjoyed negotiations to continue to support the state government by paying their taxes. This, he said, provides the necessary ingredients for a progressive and peaceful governance. The completion of this scheme, of this scheme brings to us all the joy of fulfillment because of the immense benefits been added to the lives of the people of Lagos State, particularly those in the Tiosa area. In, complete, in completing and delivering this modern housing estate to the people today, Lagos State, under the leadership of Mr. Governor, is articulating loudly for all to hear that this government is here to serve the people with the best of intention and nobility. This is another move by the state government in delivering the dividends of democracy to the people. From Lagos, love Ikuku Uyedoku. For Plus TV, Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.